in this short tutorial, um, I'm not going to go over editing in a lot of detail of, of courses, but um, I, I just want to assume that you just got notified that there's a new course that was just installed for you to use on your Moodle site, and uh, of course you're having your usual busy day, so you're not going to be able to look at it that closely, but um, as soon as possible you should get in there and just make a couple of really quick um, setting changes to uh, make sure that um, the course isn't available for students until you're ready uh, for it to be. Um, you can see here I've logged in and the courses that are dark here are available for students. They can see them and the ones that are in gray they can't see. So um, there's a couple courses here that are just fresh courses. Uh, one of them's English 12. Science. I'm going to go into Science and Tech and just have a look at that. So here's the course. Um, now every course is going to be a little bit different, of course. Um, Social Studies 11 is going to be different from Social Studies 10 in structure, you know, um, uh, because you have different course developers. Um, so always kind of keep that in mind. So everything, every course is different, so you're going to be looking just generally at things. Now the first thing is we know that this course is available. I've seen brand new courses where, for instance, answer keys are um, available when students go in, so you have to hide them, um, so you don't want that. So just to make sure that non nothing like that uh, unusual um, happens, go into settings of the course, and we'll go over settings in detail in another lesson, but there's all sorts of settings you can make here, but what I want to do right now is just scroll down to where it says availability, and you can see that this course is now available. For we want to make it not available. And then the other thing is allow guests who have the key. Well, I've seen this setting where, you know, the, usually the, the um, default is, um, sorry, is um, allow guests without a key so they can get right in there. So I'm um, always check that. I, you know, you probably don't want guests to get in, so just go do not allow guests in. And, and while you're here, I mean, I mean, there's an enrollment key that you're going to be giving your students later on. Uh, you don't have to change this now, but it's always, you know, you're here anyway, so. Oh, yeah, like there's an enrollment key that if you gave students, they'd probably be emailing you like 50 times because they can't get in because they retyped it wrong. So just change it to something that um, uh, is a little bit easier to send students to. And it doesn't have to be anything, you know, really, really um, weird or anything. Uh, something that they can probably spell helps. And don't use the same word all the time. Like so I've seen people use the school name, for instance, and then students start guessing that, and all of a sudden you get students in your courses that really shouldn't be there. Um, and, and that's about it. So then we just scroll down and save the changes. So, and that's a kind of bare minimum you can do. Um, you can get back to your busy day now, but if you have another minute um, and you're already in there, you might as well just have a quick look at the course to give you a feel for um, what changes you might make later on. Um, just scroll down. It's always nice to see what's going on. You can see that there's some things hidden. There's a link here to the discussion forum on the BC Learning Network that um, for that course. Um, well, here's a good example here. Teacher version notes to be hidden from students, but it isn't. So um, there's something that I'm just going to quickly turn editing on here. There's little icons beside everything that allow you to do different things. Um, you can move them to another part of the course. You can go in and edit them, update the assignment. Um, you can delete things. So usually I don't like deleting things because I might use them later on. And little eye icon there, if you click that, it hides it from students. You can see that it's grayed out now, so you can still get access, but um, students can't. And so I'll, I'll just you know go through and just take a look at, you can see there's different lessons here. There's little check mark there indicates that's a quiz even though it says assignment and there are some assignments that are going to be handed in. Usually in a course because it's usually developed by the same developer or developers, um, the structure of one unit is going to be very similar to the next. So if you take a quick look at one section then um, you know it'll it'll be very similar to others. You can see there's something hidden there, an additional assignment. And um, boy it's a long course. Yeah, 13. Yeah, 13 units. So that gives me an idea of what the course looks like. And that's about it. So just basically the settings the important thing and then, you know, just have a, a quick look and if you have time and then if the, you've noticed anything that's kind of leaps out at you like that, you just make the changes. And that's it. Thanks very much.